Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16. As days go by, we're learning more about this update and it turns out this will be one of the best iOS updates ever. It is amazing with a bunch of new features and the future of this update seems to be even better. We have some information regarding the next updates, which of course will be released after the first public release of iOS 16 that will contain some mind blowing features that will change the way you use your iPhone. So in this video, we're going to talk about more features discovered on iOS 16 beta. And of course, more about those features that are supposed to come in the future. All right. So before we get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you have watched the videos and you enjoy them, please consider subscribing to the channel. That would really help out a lot. And let's get started with a few new features that have been discovered on iOS 16 beta 4, and then we will move on to something really important. Now, first of all, we're going to settings and there was a feature that was actually removed with beta 3 now is back and it's pretty cool. Go to settings, Siri and search, and right here we'll find call hang up. Now this will allow you to use the hey word to hang up a call. You can enable it from here. Of course, it's enabled by default, but in order to have this feature, you will need to have the listing for the hey word enabled under the settings. Another new thing with Siri, you probably know that on iOS 16, you can actually use Siri to reboot your device. Now before it worked, but when you said reboot the device, it would just shut down the device and wouldn't boot it up back again. Now it works properly and it will actually reboot your iPhone. Another change I have noticed on iOS 16 is that when you're air playing music or whatever that is to another device, now you will have here a gray light icon instead of blue. That used to be blue, now it's gray. Now, I don't know whether that's maybe like a bug or something or Apple has just changed that to like look better and go along with all the other controls, but now that's great. Also, when you set a new wallpaper on the lock screen of your device, now it will automatically add blur to the home screen wallpaper. You know, on iOS 16, there is this feature that will let you add blur or not to the home screen wallpaper. Now that will be done actually automatically whenever you set a new wallpaper and you can remove it by going to settings, wallpaper, customize current wallpaper. And then from here you can enable or disable the home screen blur. There are a few changes on the books app as well. Previously, I showed you guys that there are new fonts on the books app and I will also have a button here that will take you right back to the chapter. That's a new button that has been added with a beta four of iOS 16. And here we have another change on the home app on iOS 16 beta four. There are new wallpapers. So if you just go here and go to home settings, and of course, go here to choose from existing. You will find here three new wallpapers that Apple has added with iOS 16 beta 4. Unfortunately, they are not adding wallpapers to the iPhone's wallpaper section. They have added to CarPlay to the home app. Hopefully they will be soon on the iPhone settings as well. But if you just want to get these wallpapers, make sure you go ahead and install this app called Wallpaper Central. And right here, you will find those three new wallpapers alongside with the new CarPlay wallpapers that have been added with iOS 16 beta 4. And this is due as well with beta 4 and new splash screen whenever you go to game center. So basically it will tell you something about the, the game center right here, what's new in game center, see your friends, play activity and all that. So this is a new splash screen for the game center on iOS 16 beta 4. Now a few things I want to talk about before we move to that big change that I just mentioned at the beginning of the video. There are a few bugs on iOS 16 beta 4. This beta unfortunately is a bit glitch especially the control center if you try like to turn up or down the volume right here it will be a nightmare now it works good whenever you reboot your device so if you reboot your device it will, will work and it will, it will be smooth for a few hours but then it will just start glitching which is really bad another change i've noticed is that on previous betas whenever your device maybe fell down on battery like 17 or 15 percent you unlock your device you know that you get that pop-up showing that you have low battery previously it used to show the exact percentage at which it was and now it's back to that 20 percent so 
let's say your battery is at 15%, it will just show the pop-up and tell you that it has fallen down below 20%. It was much, much better when it used to show the exact battery percentage. And now let's talk about the big feature that is coming with iOS 16 on a future update, most likely with iOS 16.5, but it might even come earlier. Now what we're talking about here is a series of tweets by Mac Wirewood on Twitter, a very reliable source when it comes to reports regarding upcoming Apple products. Now in this case, he's talking about the iPhone 14, but it's not said that these features won't be on all the devices because of course the technology is there. So what he's talking about here is the ability to actually reverse charge accessories from your iPhone, like maybe charge your AirPods right here. You just put them on the back of the phone and you can charge them. Now iPhones are able to do that. You can even charge other devices, but of course that is that is a software limited feature because if you have a MagSafe and you plug in your iPhone to charge and just put the, Ma the MagSafe on your iPhone, it will actually charge the MagSafe. So according to him right here, wirelessly charging will have the ability to do proper proper reverse charging but not at launch iOS 16.5 is my best estimate so basically the magnets that are on the back of the phone you will be able to use them of course to attach a device and charge them through your iPhone now it's not basically known whether he talks about other devices as well in this case he is just talking about the iPhone 14 but we might expect that feature to older devices as well and will be of course a really really interesting feature and a very revolutionary feature as of course you won't need to have a charger or a MagSafe always with you you can charge your accessories maybe even your other iPhone using your own device. So what's next regarding iOS 16? Currently we're on beta 4 and this upcoming week you can expect beta 5, probably it will be Tuesday or Wednesday, that of course is August 9th or 10th. These are the two dates when you can see Apple releasing this new software. And of course from now on I expect Apple to move to a weekly schedule as iOS 16 will most likely be released on September 19th. I think now is the time where Apple will move to a weekly schedule before they release of course a few other betas and then the RC version before the public release which will be really interesting. So what to expect from future updates of iOS 16? I of course expect Apple to release less new features on these updates and focus more on performance, battery life and of course fixing everything that is not good with iOS 16, especially some glitches on the control center and other things as well. Of course, improving iOS 16, polishing it before it gets released to the public on September 19th, most likely. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. iOS 16 is turning out to be a great update and you will love it once you get your hands on this software. Again, thank you for watching. Don't forget to, sub to subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to leave a like on this one as it helps out a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next video.